Well, my friends, I am in Minnesota today, and as you could see from the cold outside, I had to run inside and speak with Dan right away. And speaking of running, Dan, did you run track in high school, college, for the Olympics, any of that? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, well, I did a little bit of high school. I actually went to states in track, but I bring that up because there is a track here at Datanomics that you like to be on, a delivery track and we have a robot moving behind us. We have 15 machines connected to Datanomics. You've described to me that Datanomics can be used like a smartphone and you can have all the options out there, but there's a few of them that you're really fine tuning here at MedFab. Would you mind describing how Datanomics has really explored this factory and helped you understand a little bit more about what's going on inside your shop? Sure, Tony. Delivery track, the module out of Datanomics. Very interesting for, for us here at MedFab. You know, it's, it's a piece that we can incorporate into our five minute standing meeting, department standing meetings, beginning of the day. Really dive into what is the expectation for the day, allocate the resources needed to attain that schedule, and then just go make it happen. And I like that you want to make it happen because traditionally, not just at this shop, but shops around the country and around the world, we kind of look at yesterday to plan for mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You have a different mindset here, don't you? Yeah, um, that is, that's the traditional ERP way of, of reporting. It's always the rear view mirror, uh, you know, looking at what happened the day before, the week before. It doesn't allow you any real time reaction to get those processes back on track once it's already happened. So the use of Datanomics um, allows us to, based on parameter settings that we put in, notify myself, department leads, engineers, when the, the process, the current process is slipping off track to their targets, allows for real time resource allocation to get those, those processes back on track where we wanna be for that, that schedule fulfillment. And had you or your team, would you say that you've embraced the developments of Datanomics? Because I've had conversations in the past mm -hmm. as, as Datanomics continues to evolve because what I've learned about them is they love to listen to their customers. They love to listen to their partners. And I want to go into a topic with you in just a minute about mm -hmm. what's coming in the future that you're working on as well. But I want to step back from some of the other customers I've visited. There's this big brother conversation, but I find that the folks here kind of like coming together and camaraderie and figuring out, okay, this is what I need to do. This is a successful day. And we all can walk away from here, going to bed at night, going, mm -hmm. we, we did our job, right? Yep. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, that's another piece of the data, datanomics puzzle is understanding what, what the expectation is, being able to visualize it, being able to come together as a team to figure out how you're going to accomplish that and then walk away at the end of the day knowing if you were successful or not. You are a pretty face, I'm an average face, but we've selectively stood in front of this robot yep. cell right here because of the 15 machines that you've set up here at MedFab with Datanomics, this is one of them. Could you describe what Datanomics is doing on this cell? Yeah, uh, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, Datanomics is, is so versatile, right? It's got so many different modules and customers can use it in, in so many different ways. Even right here in the same building, we use it in different departments on different machines in different ways. So we did put it on, on the robotic cell here, and it's not to, to really capture anything other than the notification piece, right? It's, an, it's, it's put in place to have no, no operator attending it. And with that, we need something to monitor it to tell us when it's down or when it's run out of parts or if a tool has broken so that we can get it get it running because if it's not running, we're not making money. In those downtime scenarios, give them the access point to put a reason code behind that so that an engineer might be sitting in his cubicle working on quotation or programming of something. Instead of just the, let's drop everything and run out there because there's a notification, there's a data point that says a tool broke or material is out, right? So it might not be a widespread panic right away, there's a little bit of information that they can go off of. All right, let's move now into our creative future, Dan. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why Datanomics loves MedFab and MedFab loves Datanomics. 
and there's this creative aspect to what you want to do because your mind is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I'm fortunate enough to know a little bit about it ahead of time, but I would love for you to describe mm -hmm. to the audience what's coming to them, the possibilities that are coming, and also the fact that, again, Datanomics listens to their clients and customers and wants to constantly yep. adapt and evolve to what you desire and want. So what is it that you desire and want coming into the future? Right, that's a, that's a good point. Datanomics, great product out of the box, but they don't, they don't leave you hanging with, with a product out of the box. Anything that makes sense to them that you're creatively coming up with, they're very interested in, in bringing that to their engineering team to develop a value add to the customer. Obviously, same thing that we're trying to do with our customers. We're fortunate enough to, to partner with a new product offering, G-Code Cloud, that is an add-on for cloud-based ITAR compliant program storage. What you do know about Datanomics is it's a, it's a pull system. It's pulling data from the machine code that's running. So in this case, it's actually a push system that we can add on top of it. Developing the, the program header information within G-Code Cloud allows us then to bring that data into the delivery track module of Datanomics to not only look at what is currently running on the machine, but broader and deeper to create the overall scheduling piece um, for the whole organization. Very cleverly said, yep. I appreciate it. Now, I know we were talking about delivery track today, but I'm gonna get on the track because it is cold here in Minnesota. Sure is. And uh, try and stay warm out there as well. For everyone watching, this is Datanomics, this is MedFab. If you wanna learn more about these guys, they're right here in Minnesota, ready to do work for you. 15 mm -hmm. machines hooked up to Datanomics. I see Swiss machines all over the place. I see a lot of mills, five access centers as well. Mm -hmm. Reach out anytime, they can probably help you as well. For now, I'm gonna step back outside and see if I can navigate this cold weather.